In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use our AI Playground and all to take you through the VO 3.1 models that we've added into Clippy AI. To start off, head over to Tools and click on our AI Playground. And then at the bottom, select the VO 3.1 model or VO 3.1 Fast. VO 3.1 is the best AI model Google has released and VO 3.1 Fast is a quicker way to generate VO 3.1 videos. So we'll start off with VO 3.1 and then we'll also use VO 3.1 Fast. Now, once you've selected VO 3.1, Ensure you've selected text to video, select an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 or 9 by 16, and then select a quality 720p or 1080p. Now there's no difference to credit costs for 720p or 1080p, so make sure you just leave it on 1080p for the best quality. And then you can select a time duration of 4, 6 and 8 seconds. The longer the video, the more credits it will use. Now once you've configured your setting, you have a button here to add audio or to keep your video muted. And then you can upload an image as a starting frame for the VO 3.1 prompt. When it comes to writing your prompts, there are three things you want to ensure you specify. The detail, the dialogue if you want the characters to speak, and if you want to go into further depth, you speak about the camera and the camera lens being used. This will allow you to create the most realistic videos with VO 3.1 through Clippy AI. For this video, we're going to just use a simple prompt with our text to video option. Okay, this prompt is a man running through a tall, never-ending cornfield and I've told it to add effects of wind and nature. And if you are struggling with writing a detailed prompt, we do have an option for you to enhance your prompt with AI. However, for this video, I'm going to keep it as this, and we're gonna click send prompt. Once you click send prompt, you can see your prompt being generated below in the recent generations, and you can also see every other prompt you've recently generated. Prompt generations do tend to take a few, tend to take a few. This is because of how popular the models are, so there are a lot of requests being sent to Sora 2, making the prompts take a while to generate. VO 3.1 is faster than Sora 2. Sora 2 takes around 10 minutes to 15 minutes for a prompt to generate. VO 3.1 will take around 2 to 3 minutes for a prompt to fully generate. And this is what your prompt looks like once it's generated, and we can click View in Library, which will take us to the Media Library, so we can see the prompt in more detail. And this is where you can see all the details about the video generated with the prompt in case you ever want to regenerate a prompt again. Now frames to video is an option where you can input a first frame and a last frame. The first frame will be the first image of the video and the last frame will be the last ending scene of the video. VO 3.1 will then use the prompt that you give to animate a full video from your first frame to your last frame. And this is exactly how you do it. Once you've added two frames, your first frame and your last frame, you can now input a prompt to animate the images into a video. So with these two images selected, I'm going to tell AI to make a video of the construction of the Burj Khalifa. This will then animate the process of how the entire building is built. Once your video is generated, you can click download to then view to see what the video looks like. And this is what the video will look like with frames to video. As you can see, it's turned the initial image into the ending image with a full animation. And now we move on to ingredients. Ingredients is an option where you feed the AI ingredients that it can feed off and use to give you the perfect and most accurate AI video. So with ingredients, you input three images that relate to the prompt that you want AI to make, just so AI can follow the images along the entire prompt and not have any changes in the character's features, appearances, or what they're wearing. This is the best way to keep consistency across your videos. And this is exactly how you can do it with Clippy. For this one, we'll be using 16 by 9 and I'll be inputting three images that I make with our AI image generator. So using the AI image generator, I've just generated three images that I would use as the ingredients for my VO 3.1 prompt. I now head back over to VO 3.1, click on the plus icon, click on my library, and my images are here. And once I've selected my three images, I now enter a prompt. Now for this prompt, I've added what I want the video to be about. I've added extra details to ensure the AI knows what I want from the video, and also the camera movement to ensure it looks cinematic and follows the exact same theme. And now we click send prompt and wait to see what it generates for us. And now our prompt is generated, we can see what our video looks like. And as you can see, it's followed the images that we've added as a reference for the ingredients of this prompt. And this was an in-depth tutorial explaining how every single feature works between our VO 3.1, VO 3.1 Fast, and also VO 3 models with Clippy AI. You can refer to the same tutorial for all of these four models to ensure that you have the best prompts being made for you whilst using Clippy.